to me, the most rewarding aspect about being a researcher is getting to make new discoveries. If I can learn something today that I didn't know yesterday, that really turns me on. Uh, so making discoveries doesn't happen every day, uh, but when it does, uh, that keeps me going. The research that we do uses the longitudinal method and that means that we begin with several thousand babies all born in the same year and then we follow them forward as they grow up, uh, bringing them into the laboratory for assessments of their physical and mental health every couple of years uh, for as much as 30 or 40 years. The reason we do this is that it allows us to uh, track the uh, development of children who have mental health problems uh, right up until their adulthood uh, and that gives us an evidence base for knowing uh, when to intervene and what needs to be done. We've been uh, following a group of children who back in the uh, 1970s uh, had very poor self-control. They had a hard time regulating their emotions. They couldn't modulate their uh, impulses. As we have followed these children into adulthood now in their 30s, we've learned that these children with poor impulse control also have a lot more uh, mental health problems. But what's been really striking is that they also have more physical health problems through uh, tracking biomarkers uh, in these individuals. We know that they are at greater uh, risk for heart disease. The very newest thing in the study of gene-environment interactions, and the reason it's thrilling to me, is that it's the meeting point for two very different areas of research. Um, neuroscience and epidemiology are coming together to ask uh, and try to address long-standing questions about the causes of mental illness. There is a finding I'm really most proud of. We found that uh, among the adults in our sample who had mental disorders, already over half of them had had a diagnosable mental disorder uh, in the study before they were 15 years old. And the implications of that uh, kind of finding are very clear. It means that if we could do something to successfully treat children's mental disorders, we could reduce uh, the burden and suffering of mental disorder lifelong. Uh, being, being a scientist is a wonderful privilege. It's true that um, you don't get to make a new discovery uh, every day, uh, but I must say that designing research well has its own rewards. Training and working with young scientists is wonderful because they bring new ideas and they keep you learning and they keep you and your research fresh. Uh, and in that regard, NARSAT has been incredibly generous in supporting the careers of young scientists on our team. We have received other awards for our research in the past, but being singled out by NARSAT is a huge honor and it's really exciting to me. Uh, because NARSAT is well known for um, supporting basic science, which is the kind of science we do, but also uh, NARSAT is widely known for contributing to educating the public about the meaning of science, and that means a lot to me, so we're really pleased.